Now another miracle story from Driscoll Children's Hospital. You know, sometimes when parents bring their kids in to find out why they aren't feeling well, they get some news that forces them to change everything. Case in point, a five-year-old boy who was told he had a disease called leukemia, a form of cancer. It was the beginning of a tough journey, but as our Kristen Diaz tells us now, this courageous young man appears to be winning the battle. This is Nate, strong, smart, and resilient. And at five years old, he is already a survivor. He's DC. Is he a bad guy or a good guy? Bad guy. Nate's journey started three years ago here at Driscoll Children's Hospital when his parents brought him in for an unusual fever. He was pale, tired, and unknowingly to them at the time, showing classic symptoms for leukemia. Unusual bruising, you know, the child is pale and very tired. Sometimes they complain about bone pain and start to limp. Dr. Nkechi Mba, the medical director for the Cancer and Blood Disorder Center, sees this all too often. At Driscoll Children's Hospital, almost one out of every three kids seen in oncology are being treated for leukemia. The good news is that um, leukemia is highly curable in children. At two years old, Nate began frontline treatment called the Roadmap. The guide shows the phases in treatment over an average of three years recommended by the National Cancer Institute. It's a general protocol that is proven to cure this type of cancer. The goal is a cure, but this is not an easy journey. We anticipate com complications and we expect complications. There were lots of things that if, if it was going to happen, <laughs> it's going to happen to Nate. Nate was in and out of the emergency room. He lost his hair twice, and toward the end of his treatment, his body started to show a rare and dangerous side effect from the harsh chemotherapy he was receiving. His liver was failing. How often do you see <laughs> that combination? Not that often. Uh -huh. Very, very unusual. The child that was diagnosed with the worst thing that parents can imagine and came through it stronger than any one could imagine. It Nurse Shannon Broughton remained close to Nate's side throughout his continuous treatment, watching him prevail against needing a transplant. She says seeing kids like Nate in her department show her how incredible they really are. They will be in this room getting blood transfusions and chemo and trying to ride off in one of the cars. So they're doing puzzles or Play-Doh or, you know, they, they don't know that they're sick. Dedicated staff like Nurse Shannon and Dr. Imba are what help kids like Nate get through tough times like these. As for Nate, he is looking forward to having his health back and being a normal kid again. She's a type of Batman. Kristen Diaz, 3 News. Wow, an amazing young man. Kids forced to grow up very quickly, right, when they're in the oncology department there. But these kinds of miracles routinely happen at Driscoll Children's Hospital, and that's why during our Miracle Month of May, as we call it, we're going to be highlighting them for you. If you'd like to help out and keep the miracles coming, you can do so by donating. You just call the number on your screen there, or you go online to ktriplitv.com slash miracle month.